Hello everyone. My name is Ankush Jain and in this video we are going to learn how can we generate an SSL certificate using AWS Certificate Manager. So we are going to initially generate an SSL certificate using AWS console and then we will uh, use that SSL certificate on CloudFront to serve our Angular website. So before we move ahead, uh, let's discuss a few points here that I have mentioned. So the certificates which are generated using ACM are completely free and you don't have to pay for those SSL certificates. I have attached a link. So if you click on this link, you can uh, go on this pricing page and here you will see. So you are not subjected to an additional charge for SSL certificates that you manage with ACM. You pay only for the AWS resources that you are going to run your website or application on. Second thing is managed renewal for ACM certificate. That means these certificates are automatically renewed or they will send you email notification to renew them. So if you click on this link, you will find that ACM provided managed uh, ACM provides managed renewal for Amazon issued SSL certificate. This means that ACM will either renew your certificates automatically or it will send you email notices when expiring or expiration is approaching. So these two points are there. And the third point uh, is services integrated with ACM. So there are a lot of services of AWS. If you are hosting your web application on those services, you can use ACM. So if you click on this link, you will find that Elastic Load Balancer, Amazon CloudFront, Amazon Cognito, Elastic Beanstalk, AppRunner, API Gateway, Nitro and Claves, Cloud Formation. So uh, Amplify and a lot of services uh, are there. If you are hosting your web applications or, or APIs on these uh, services, then you can use AWS Certificate Manager. So yeah, although these certificates are free, but you are bound to use them only with AWS services. Uh, you cannot export these uh, public certificate and use them outside AWS environment. So that is another point that I have, I have mentioned here. So the architecture uh, that we are going to, uh, you know, having demo about in this uh, video is, uh, so this is the architecture about that demo. So we are just going to create an SSL certificate and then we will uh, uh, deploy an Angular website on S3 and that is going to be served through CloudFront and we are going to use uh, the SSL certificate that we will generate on this CloudFront layer. And we'll see that the website is now being served on HTTPS uh, using the certificate that we will create. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get into the demo. So first step, uh, I mean, I have noted down all the steps that we are going to perform in this demo. So the first step is create certificate request from ACM. So let me close these links that I have just opened and go in my AWS management console and I will go on certificate manager. So you just need to go here and click on request a certificate, request a public certificate. Here I'm going to generate a certificate for test.coderjourney.com because uh, this is my website, so I can manage the DNS of this website. Okay, so I'm going to create a subdomain and now DNS validation. So I'm going to choose DNS validation because I can add or edit the entries in the DNS uh, uh, records. Okay, now key algorithm. So here we are going to select RSA 20408. Uh, so this is basically mm, so when you create an SSL certificate, so that contains your public key and that there's also a private key associated with that certificate. So uh, this key algorithm, you know, uh, allows us to choose what kind of algorithm we want to choose to generate those key value pair, uh, uh, public private key pair. So uh, I am choosing RSA 2048 and I'm not choosing any tag, I'm just creating request. So if I request, oh sorry, if I refresh, then uh, 
certificate has request has been created if i click on this you can see uh, a certificate request has been created and the status is coming in uh, pending validation so now uh, aws certificate manager is asking us to prove that we own this coder journey domain so what i will do i will go to the place where i am managing my domain records so you might be host uh, you might have purchased a domain from godaddy then you can go to godaddy you if you are managing the domain at route 53 then you can go at route 53 but i i am using netlify to manage my domains because my website is hosted on netlify so i am managing my domains also here so what i will do i'm close i will close my website so it is asking me to create a cname record with this cname value so i will copy this and i will add a new record i will select a cname and then just a second and then in the name i will put it so it is saying a subdomain like www or ftp we automatically append coderjourney.com so i am going to remove the part last part so i'm just keeping this part here because they will automatically append the my i mean my domain now i'm just pasting the value here i am keeping the time 20 second ttl i want that this should expire uh, at the resolver after 20 second because uh, for this demo i don't want to uh, you know keep things in cache so just keeping the ttl as low as possible okay now i have created this record i will go back to certificates and will wait whether it is getting issued or not so it may take some time uh, but let's wait for a few seconds okay so i'm pausing my video and will get back to you once it is uh, issued okay before going to pause this video let me oh so i i mean i don't need to pause my video the certificate has been has been issued and it uh, it roughly took around 10 to 15 seconds so now my certificate is ready so and for test.coderjourney.com so i will see what is the next step so we have covered i guess the next step complete the certificate request by doing the verification so we have done the verification okay so now the certificate with acm has been generated now we are going to uh, i mean we are jumping on the step three which is a demo with cloudfront so what we are going to do point subdomain to angular website hosted on cloudfront okay so now what i will do i will go to cloudfront i have created uh, a website or simple angular website uh, uh, that has only one page and i have created a bucket and i have created a cloudfront distribution so if i go here so if i click on this and if i so you can see this angular website is running here and the domain is currently cloudfront domain so what i will do i will just copy this domain and here i will create another cname record which i will name as test and put the value this again ttl i will keep only 20 seconds okay so i have created a cname record with test.coderjourney.com that is pointing to the cloudfront website so if i hit it then ideally i my angular website which is this should open so now what is the next step check the website using subdomain so yeah i'm checking this website with the subdomain okay i'm getting this error and the bad request and uh, the good thing is the, that that the, the that the record that we created here so the request is now going from test.coderjourney.com to cloudfront so we can see that the error is something which is related to cloudfront okay so this issue might be coming because uh, 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 i don't know but yeah let's try if it is coming through coming because of https so yeah i mean this is the error that i was expecting uh, i am not able to access my website because uh, my connection is not private and i have not added the ssl certificate here 
So what I will do, I, I, I will do to fix this issue, I will go in CloudFront. Okay, I'm already here. So I will uh, click on edit. And here, uh, I will, okay, here you see, the first thing you need to do is you have to add a domain name here. So test.coderjourney.com. So whatever the uh, alternate domain C name that you are using, uh, trying to use for your CloudFront uh, distribution, you have to add the, that uh, that subdomain here. And second thing, custom SSL certificate. So if I open this, I will find test.coderjourney.com. So I will select it. Now I will key, go with the default, which is recommended one. One thing I would like to, uh, you know, emphasize here, like these certificates, if you are using CloudFront, so you must have to create your SSL certificate in North Virginia or US East one region. I have already created my certificate in US East one region. That's why I'm able to select it. If you create it in Mumbai region or any other region, then you won't be able to get those certificate in this list in CloudFront because CloudFront is a global service, but a certificate manager is a regional service. So uh, if you are using a load balancer, so you have to create set, you are able to use uh, those certificates which are in your region uh, because ALB is also regional service. But now CloudFront is a global service. So they force you to create the certificate in US East one region. So that's why I have created my certificate there. I'm selecting it and now I'm saving this. So now I have uh, uh, I have saved my information or save the changes and now uh, I have attached the certificate here as well. So I will again go here and will try to run this website. I'm still getting the errors. Maybe the changes have not been yet propagated. So I will I will maybe try with different browser. I will open Edge. And if I open edge, oh, so you can see that I am able to access the test.coderjourney.com and with SSL, so with HTTPS. And if I click here, so connection is coming secure. And if I would like to see the certificate, so I will click on here and you can see that the certificate is coming from Amazon root CA1 and yeah, so this certificate that we have issued through ACM is now working and I can again retry at Google Chrome. So yeah, it is working here and the same thing I can also verify certificate is valid and that is coming from Amazon uh, RSA. Okay, so that's what I had to show you in this video and that this is how you can create free SSL certificate using AWS Certificate Manager and then use those certificate in your website which are running on AWS uh, uh, Cloud. So I hope you have liked this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.